Welcome back to the channel boys, Fabloons is coming at your neck with this Omni Oculus PvE build. Now I just got this exotic recently and oh my god is this thing powerful. You can do so many different kinds of builds and I don't know if it's bugged or glitched or if that's just how the exotic works but there's some pretty nutty things you can do with it so let's go ahead and break it down. So like I said there's many different kinds of builds you can do with this thing. Obviously you can work with all three of the Night Stalker subclasses but for this one right here we're going to use Bottom Tree mainly because you got the smoke bomb which will make people vanish, it'll make yourself vanish, throw a smoke bomb from a distance making you and nearby allies invisible and providing a heart of the pack buff. However the pack grants weapon haste, increases mobility, recovery and resilience. So pretty much you are kind of like a support a little bit but not healing, you're pretty much making your teammates cracked out they got increased weapon reload speed mobility recovery resilience and on top of that Omni Oculus gives a damage resist while invisible, so you get resilience and a damage resist while invisible, so it's a pretty nice buff. Another reason why I'm using Bottom Tree Night Stalker is because of lockdown. Grenades last twice as long, so they're able to kill things more efficiently. You know, if I'm not able to get the kill right away or, you know, if the grenade runs out and it doesn't kill them, this will last twice as long. So I have a kind of a grenade build going on, so this is why I'm using this one. But also for combat provision, damaging enemies with grenades grants melee ability energy, making allies invisible grants grenade energy. So keep this in mind when I when we go to Omni Oculus, you'll see why this makes sense. As for my loadout, I am using a Friction Fire with Threat Detector Wellspring. I highly recommend using a weapon with Wellspring. I tested this build out with a weapon with Demolitionist, but it just wasn't as fun. It wasn't as powerful in my opinion, but Wellspring is the way to go. We're also using Salvager Salvo with Demolitionist Vorpal Weapon, and then we got Cold Duello Auto Loading Frenzy. So let's move on to our stats now. We got 60 Mobility, 38 Resilience, 56 Recovery, we got 100 discipline flat, so my grenade's on a 32 second cooldown, but it's going to be so much more faster than that. We got 25 intellect, and I'm gonna have my super actually a lot with this build more than I anticipated. So having 25 intellect is not really gonna matter. And then we got 26 strength. Again, this is not gonna matter because I'm going to have so many smoke bombs, it's insane. So let's start with our helmet. We got a rocket launcher ammo finder. We got ashes to assets, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. Like I said before, we can take a look at it down here. I have 100 discipline, plus I have firepower and some other mods. So I wanna use this to increase my super gain and I can spam super energy. Plus I have some other mods that are gonna allow me to get my super back even faster. So ashes to assets is a really good mod to have. And of course, firepower while charged light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charged light. On my gauntlets, we got a discipline mod. We got double submachine gun loader. And then we got elemental ordinance, defeating combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. And in case you guys don't know, whenever you pick up any of these elemental wells, you get ability energy. If they match your subclass energy type, you get ability energy for all your abilities. So it's a really nice mod to have. And I'm actually really liking these elemental well mods. I can't wait to see the new ones that are going to come out. Now onto my chest piece, Omni Oculus. Now this thing is just absolutely nuts. You guys got to get this thing if you don't have it already. You can get it from the Lost Sector, so I highly recommend going ahead and getting Getting it but let's go ahead and break down the armor perk that comes on it beyond the veil you gain a second smoke bomb charge and have damage resistance while invisible when you make an ally invisible they gain damage resistance while invisible and you gain melee energy so hence why I'm using bottom tree night soccer I have a throwable smoke bomb that makes myself invisible if I stand in it or if I can throw it at my teammates make them invisible they gain damage resistance when I make them invisible I also get melee energy I get about half of it so the only thing that's wrong with it is that I can't stand in the smoke bomb with them. I have to actually be far away from them, throw it at them, and only make them invisible. But there is a little bit of tech with it. If you throw it, make them invisible, and then run into it like a split second later, you get the melee energy back and you become invisible. So there's a little bit of tech behind it. If you can get that timing down, you can actually take advantage of both of the you know perks or whatever it is of the Omni Oculus Exotic. But as for right now, you cannot be in them in the smoke bomb when you throw it at your feet. They have to be away from you. Now, that melee energy is, like I said, half of it. So you get half your melee energy just from making an ally invisible. They get damage resist. If you're invisible, you get damage resist. This thing is crazy. Now onto the glitch that I was talking about earlier or the bug. Now it states in the exotic, when you make an ally invisible, they gain damage resist and you gain melee energy. Now, if you're using middle tree night stalker or top tree night stalker, whenever you dodge to go invisible, you get half of your melee back. Or if you're using middle tree night stalker, if you get the headshot kills, you go invisible, you get half your melee back. Now, I don't know if that is a glitch or if that's how it's supposed to work because it does state only an ally. 
but maybe the game registers yourself as an ally, but then why wouldn't it work with the smoke bomb? I don't know. But for right now, that's how it is. So if you're using Middle Tree Night Stalker, you get a crouch headshot, go invisible, you get half your melee energy back. Or if you dodge when you're using Top Tree Night Stalker, you go invisible, you get half your melee energy back. This thing is just crazy right now. As for my mods, we're using a mobility mod. We got Concussive Dampener, Melee Damage Resist, and we got Elemental Light. The feeding combatant with your super spawns and elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. That's just more elemental wells, which means more ability spam. On my legs, we got a mobility mod, minor mobility mod. We got rocket launcher scavenger. Absolution reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power. I'm using master weapon, so there's going to be a lot of orbs of power around, plus when my teammates generate them. And then we got elemental charge. Become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well's element type matches your subclass element, <laughs> you gain two stacks of charge with light. Jesus Christ, that's like a tongue twister right there. Elemental well, type, whatever. But pretty much, you pick up an elemental well, you get charged with light. If it matches your subclass energy type, you get two stacks of charge with light. Now I'm going to use this to use firepower, which is going to increase, uh, sorry, it's going to give me a chunk of grenade energy back whenever I use my grenade. Pair that with the picking up the elemental wells gives me all ability energy and absolution picking up orbs of power gives me ability cooldowns. So, and I have a wellspring weapon, so there's a lot of ability spam with this build. And on my hunter cloak, we got a minor discipline mod. We got double bomber mod. So whenever I dodge, I get a nice chunk of grenade energy back. And then we got font of wisdom. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants you a temporary significant increase in your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. So like I said, I'm using ashes to assets. I have grenade spam. I have 100 discipline. I'm going to have, do have double bomber mods, elemental well mods. I'm going to get a lot of grenade energy, a lot of grenade kills. going to give me a lot of super energy. Fonts of wisdom, whenever I pick up those elemental wells that I get from grenade kills, is going to increase my intellect, which means my super is going to come back faster. Whenever I get super kills, it spawns elemental wells. I just repeat that cycle. This build is just nuts. Plus, I can keep going invisible, keep giving my myself and my teammates uh, weapon reload buff, movement, resilience, intellect, whatever it is. This build is just crazy. And here is my Hunter fashion. I love the way Omni Oculus looks. It looks super like eerie. These eyes are moving. So I had to go with like a robotic look. I got the like Night Stalker red eyes right here. Robotic like assassin look. I don't know. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite fashion type builds I, in general, honestly. I love it. I think I did so well with this. So if you guys like it, shades will be in the description below. So I'm just gonna start this off by saying Omni Oculus is S tier, dare I say S plus tier. That's how good this exotic is. I would take this over um, Orpheus Riggs. It's a tough one because Orpheus Riggs are really good, but honestly, I would take this over Orpheus Riggs because I like ability spam, although Orpheus Riggs is mainly around the super. God, the amount of ability spam, the invisibility damage resist, making allies invisible, they get a damage resist, you get melee energy back. And like I said, I don't know if it's glitched or bugged or whatever, but you can dodge to go invisible, get melee energy back. You get the middle tree night stalker, you get the headshot kills. While crouch, you go invisible, you get melee energy back. It's crazy, it is absolutely crazy. And these smoke bombs, especially in PVP, they're really good. Disorient, it allows you to get, get close, get the shotgun kill, disorient them, get a sniper, whatever it is. I was using this in showdown to get my, um, seasonal challenge complete i was going invisible throwing a smoke bomb aping them like crazy ass i was using them i bought fell winters i was invisible hunter aping and i felt so powerful <laughs> so i love this exotic this thing is so good and that's just the exotic now put this exotic with this build with all the elemental wells with the firepower mods with the hundred discipline I get a lot of grenades, I get elemental wells to spawn, I get super energy because my intellect is higher, I get ability energy back because of the elemental wells, I have absolution so I pick up orbs of power, I get ability energy back, I have a wellspring weapon so whenever I get kills I get ability energy back, whenever I damage combatants with grenades I get melee energy back, if I make my, my allies invisible I get melee energy back, if I dodge I have gambler's dodge on, so I dodge, or no is the gambler's dodge or... I can't remember the one that you dodge to get your melee back. I have that one on. So if I dodge your enemies, I get my smoke mom back. I can make myself invisible. I get the weapon reload speed buff. There's so much going on. Pretty much all you got to do is just play, get a lot of grenade kills. That's it. Your build starts going. You get super energy back. Oh man, I, it's so much fun. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun on a hunter class in so long because typically, you know, I, I like to use Night Stalker and the Night Stalker subclass, I didn't really like the exotics it had. I mean, Orpheus rigs are really good, but it was just like, eh. So that's why I kind of drifted away from it. In Destiny 1, I had three Hunters. That's how much I loved Hunter in Destiny 1. Destiny 2 what wasn't so much, but now with Omni Oculus, I'm having a tough time because this makes this subclass so good. 
and I have so many build ideas. I gotta try this out with, there's going to be a lot of Omni Oculus builds, so definitely be on the lookout for that. You guys gotta get this exotic if you don't have it already, because you will fall in love just like I did. If you like Hunter, if you like Night Stalker, this is the exotic that you need. So go ahead and get it, let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys enjoy. But if you guys like this content, please like, subscribe, and share, it truly helps me out a lot. You can also check out my other videos, links are in the description below. I have a lot of crazy builds, so go ahead and check that out. And you might as well follow my social media, I have a Twitter and an Instagram, both at fat underscore Blunskis. But with all that being said, deuces.